I'm Dr. Larry Corpus with Misericordia University, and what we're looking at today uh, are a couple of preserved specimens of the black widow spider and the brown recluse spider. Um, I'm going to try to dispel a few myths about these two spiders. They are considered the two most venomous spiders we have in North America. The black widow has a neurotoxic type of venom that basically will affect uh, and cause muscle spasms uh, and uh, other problems with uh, uh, the muscles. Um, both of these spiders uh, are primarily uh, uncommon in the state of Pennsylvania. Uh, the brown recluse spider that you're looking at basically has a, a hematoxic venom which will cause uh, necrosis of the skin at the point of the bite. Uh, but the brown recluse, from its name, is reclusive. It's found principally in basements and cellars um, of houses that uh, are cluttered, have stored old furniture and old boxes and things of this nature. They do not occur very commonly in the state of Pennsylvania unless someone comes in from the mid, uh, Midwest who has uh, adult spiders or eggs on their furniture or other items that they bring with them. So we don't have any established populations of these, and it's fairly rare for anybody to run in, uh, come in contact with them. Same thing can be said primarily for the black widow spider in the sense that uh, they're going to be found usually upside down in their, on their cobwebs. They don't move very rapidly uh, on the surface. Um, and they're also relatively uncommon 